And Alex, we have more new video tonight of a demolished home on West Douglas Street in Freeport. This after rain water rushed the pushed the vacant home off its foundation. And Freeport is where we find 13 News as William Ingalls, who is live there right now. And William, take me through what you've been seeing the last few hours. Brittany, you just heard it from Alex. The real thing we're looking at is this is the Pecatonic River. You're looking at the sign that really is giving the litmus test here. The flooded area head on Stevenson Street. That's the level right now, 13 and a half feet, which is over a flood stage. You can see the major flood stage a little bit later there, but we're going to go over and see a little bit of the Pecatonic River right here. And this is why we have our eye on it. Like Alex mentioned, we saw a lot of those flooded roads. Those are going to start going down. However, the Pecatonic River, this is still going up. It's expected to continue going up until 1 a.m. today, or rather tomorrow morning. So really, this is the condition that we're going to keep watching here because this has major flood implications across our whole area. Like Alex mentioned, this isn't just Stevenson County. This goes into Winnebago County, goes right through the Winnebago County Fairgrounds. So that could be a developing story as we're looking at that county fair going up, I believe, starting August 17th or so. So a big story to develop here. However, when it came to the roads, this is going to take us several hours for the Pecatonica River to continue to find its final crest. However, However, for homeowners in Stevenson County, this happened in a matter of minutes when the rain fell earlier today. And just looking outside, you could see the water rushing over the road. And pretty much at that point, we figured it was time to start moving stuff because we didn't know how bad it was going to get. Pretty much got to the point once it went over our breaker box in the basement, we had to get everybody else that was helping us out of the house. Now, like we mentioned, this is the developing story as this river continues to rise here. We'll find out exactly what that crest is and the impacts it'll be for this area as we go throughout into the early morning hours of Tuesday. For now, reporting live in Freeport for 13 News, I'm William Ingalls. Brittany, back to you. William, thank you for that update. Stay safe out there. And taking a look at the power outages in the area due to the storms over the weekend, here's the Comet outage map. At last check, parts of Rockford, Loves Park, and areas west of Pecatonica are dealing with outages. According to that map, crews are out working to restore that power to about 40 customers right now. And we are going to continue to track the damage and impact from this weekend storms. We have a slideshow of pictures sent to us by you, our viewers, right now on WREX.com and our 13 News app.